Hello everybody and welcome to game number five. Yes, number oh, it should have said something in spoiler and between ah, whatever. You should see it there on the page. If you clicked on it, you already know. Anyway, game number five between Goody and Night End, and this is going to be on Jungle Basin, and this is a new map. And uh, we're gonna have Goody spawning here as the purple Terran at the five o'clock position, and Night End spawning as the green Protoss at the ten o'clock position. And uh, this is a new map, like I said. And and, and 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 you guys can notice that it looks a little bit like Steps of War, but it doesn't really like it. It just looks like it. The same tile set, I guess. The same kind of textures. And uh, what makes this map different is that it has actually two entrances to your base. So there's two chokes. And uh, the first one just goes straight out into the middle of the map. Um, and uh, the side one actually goes to your natural. And your natural is protected through because of these uh, destructible rocks. But these destructible rocks are not actually uh, part of the middle part of the map, so to speak. They're just most likely, more likely, more, more like um, more like a side avenue, side entrance to your base. So. Uh, it is pretty safe to get this natural at the start and you can see if these rocks do go down if you just scout for it and the um, night ends probe is um, scouting right now to see if the Terran player is doing anything funny he I like this I like the fact that he's scouting so preemptively and uh, it is 2-2 right now the score is tied and this this is the go for a C2 finals and um, we'll see who gets to be the winner in this game uh, uh, Goody was leading with two games to none to zero, so I managed to pull back and got two wins after that, and uh, that makes us the lucky winners of, uh, or they say lucky viewers, of game number five, the decisive game between these two guys. And um, let's see what's going to be happening. I I believe that this map, this map is actually quite good for Colossus Colossus usage. I think uh, because of all these ledges and all this. Um, yeah, this high turn. I don't know. I, it just seems so. I just look at it, and to me, it looks good. Like it looks good to get Colossus on this map. I don't know what Knights and Knight is going to do though. Also, tanks I think are pretty good on this map. And um, no gold expansion on this map. Also, this is not gold. So you'd think most of you would think that hey, it's out in the open. It's close to the middle. It's going to be a gold expansion. But no, it's not. Just like Shakur's Plateau, no gold expansions. So reminds us a little bit, I think, of uh, StarCraft Two map. Uh, StarCraft One map. My bad. And. Um, Let's see, so a gas is going down, a second gas is going down right here, right there. Still not one gas, just one gas here. And the proxy barracks going down. Oh, I didn't see this one. So, um, the proxy barracks is going down. Let's see if it's going to be Reapers. Um, curious. He does have quite a lot of gas. Maybe he's going to get Nitro Packs. No, because of shells. So he's probably going to get something similar to what he did on the first in the first game on Zilnaga Caverns. He got a, a very aggressive Marauder push. I think he's going to be doing this again. Goody is such a... He's such a. He all his games have been like this. He's really unusual playing. He plays. This is a tournament game. You're not really messing around with this stuff. And he's getting all sorts of stuff. He's getting all sorts of uh, proxy buildings and contain builds, stuff like that. All in builds. Very aggressive. Very uncomfortable to play against. But if you do this against good players, they will catch on to it and they will learn how to deal with it. It's what Night End did. It worked the first few games and then it, slided, it started to slowly, slowly uh, slow down, you know, slide down. Uh, he didn't really have that momentum anymore that he did. So it's good to have uh, cheese stuff that you really know, let's say, uh, all inch stuff. But it's also good to oh, and good force field there. And those SCVs are probably gonna uh, let's see, no, is he gonna try with his stalker? Maybe come and use your stalker from there, from that side. Another force field, there we go. And now he's gonna use the stalker. Yes, he is good. Good job there, good job. Yep, smart, smart choice. He doesn't want them putting bunkers down. Great, and that is going to pretty much nullify any bunkers. And these units are so much weaker. <laughs> <laughs> so much weaker because these SCVs are gonna be, aren't going to be alive. And great forest fields and all the SCVs go down. And now he has the chance of warping in two fresh units. I think let's see what he's going to get. I think he's probably going to get two Zealots against all those Marauders. Let's see. And no, he just decided to get Stalkers actually. He's going to have to take some probes off the line. Yes, he is. And uh, he's going to try and push the Marauders back. Let's see if the Marauders decide to focus down the probes or not. Yep, there we go. And two probes going down. 
force field again. So nice. He just pushed him back, got another force field, got some time to get more units. Uh, really great play from Night End. I like it. And uh, But the Terran player keeps on massing these Marauders and rally points are set. He's supply block, though. Let's see if a supply depot is going down. No. No, he doesn't really notice this even. He sends more SCVs. He says, so, this is such a gamble. This is a really big gamble that Goody's doing right now. With those Zealots, he's focusing those Zealots down and the probes are also off the line. And let's see if he's gonna force field. I'm wonder if he's force field here and 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 no, he decides to chase. But I don't think it's the smartest thing to do. Uh, although yes, he does take down another Marauder, and there we go. And he has three SCVs coming here, but he lost all those Marauders. Oh, this is such a shame and such a short game, and uh, not really the kind of game you expect to have in game number five in the finals, <laughs> in the tournament final. But um. Well, I guess I guess I don't want to say anything towards Goody here, but I guess this is really the kind of gameplay he opts for. And if it doesn't really work, there's not much. He doesn't really want to do anything, or he doesn't care for anything. I'm not sure what to think. <laughs> it's really <laughs> there's not much else I can think. Uh, he's seeing f five games going pretty much in the same direction, and wow, two proxy bear. I didn't even notice this. I was focusing on what's happening in this part of the of the map, and the two proxy bear. Uh, gateways warp gates coming down here and uh, quite interesting i guess i guess he didn't want he didn't want um knight and didn't want <clears throat> goody to know that he's going to have more producing more unit producing structures so yes quite interesting i like the way <clears throat> knight and handled these last three games i really love it grats to him for winning the finals grats for coming back from being led two to zero uh, it's really it's not just it's not just the fact that he managed to win three in a row. It's it's the psychological factor. It does matter, especially in a tournament, especially in a tournament final. I guess he's used to that. He's part of a really good clan that doesn't really accept people who came in on pressure, and um, yeah, it's uh, it's nice to see a comeback. It's always nice to see a comeback. I think everybody wants to see this a valorous comeback from a game. Yeah, so. Um, Kudos to Night End for managing to pull this off after being led. And uh, also, I like Goody's play, but I don't think I agree with the fact uh, that he chose to do it in almost each and every game. I mean, he did it in each and every game, more or less, with just a little bit of variation in a, in a game or two. But um, that's his style, that's what he does, I guess that's what he practices. Um, we're all different, and that's why StarCraft is so beautiful, because we get to play against each other and we see different games, different opportunities arising all the time, and uh, makes for beautiful games, epic games, some more or less, and um, yeah, anyway, this was uh, me casting the last game from these finals, and uh, go check out www.sc2row.ro, and also subscribe to my channel, that is www dot youtube.com slash exostarcraft that's me um do subscribe to my channel because it's really new and stuff <clears throat> i want to be uploading more uh videos all fresh and i mean all recently played games and good games i'm sorry but i don't upgrade i don't um <laughs> what did i oh i'm, I'm really tired it's, it's, it's 5 30 a.m i don't upload crappy games and stuff maybe if you guys do have an extremely funny crappy game or something like that i will consider it but i'm a guy who pretty much takes himself uh, not seriously that much, but um, I care about quality of things. I care about good things, enjoyable things, real things. So um, that's it for me for tonight, and I'm going to be uploading these games. They should be up until morning. And until then, I think there's a bunch of games, at least uh, those three games I casted, Mad Frog versus Fuser, and the following two games. That ZVZ, especially if you haven't seen it, go watch it because it's really great. You'll see a really great game right there, and you don't really get to see ZVZ that much, especially not that good. So go check out my video, subscribe, and check out uh, row as well because uh, <clears throat> they're going to be uh, people I'm going to be working with most likely. And um, uh, I guess that's it for me. And uh, I'm going to check if Battle.net is not up. And if it's not, you might actually be lucky enough for me to cast another game because I'm bored and I don't think I'm going to do anything else. And I'm not that... I don't feel sleepy yet either. I'm tired, but I'm not sleepy. Anyway, this is Exo signing out, and stay tuned for more videos.